All right, let's try this again. What's going on, everybody? Diva here. And about a month ago, roughly, give or take, I think it was about a month ago, I did an unboxing of my action cam. And I really haven't gotten much use out of it since then, so I'm not gonna do a review video yet, which I said I would, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I need to play around with it and get a lot more use out of it just to give a proper review, otherwise I could say yes, it turned on and it worked. Nobody wants that, that's boring. But since I have gotten a little bit of use out of it, what I want to do is show you how to fix the, the distorted look on it. Um, this one has a, a, a shark eye lens. Most of these have like a fish eye lens. I don't know the difference. I think one is a little less distorted than the other or something, at least that's what they say. But it's still a distortion, right? Yeah, we can all agree with that. So we're going to take a look in Final Cut and see a couple different methods on smoothing this out and making it look more like a standard camera as opposed to having this funny lens on it. So let's roll that intro, then we'll jump right into it. But first, uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Let's get to it. Okay, so now we're in Final Cut, and I pulled together this video. I shot it the other day. Um, I'm going to turn the sound down because the sound really doesn't matter. We're not fixing any audio. And you can see on all the edges, uh, it has that, that distorted look. Um, you really see it right in there. If you look at the gate, it has that, that nice little bow to it right here. And also sidewalks, and just like any straight edge that's on the outside of your frame. That's where you're really going to see all that distortion and that bending. So a couple methods for fixing this is one of them is basically using what's already native to Final Cut and what's already in here. No plugins required. So we're going to go to Distortion, Fisheye, and just drag that right onto your clip. And you may have to play with this a little bit. Now, it's not a perfect fix, but it is a solution if you don't want to download any plugins. All right, let's find let's find a spot where we can really see that distortion. There we go. Look at that wall. That is a beaut. So, let's fix that. We'll grab this and we'll go into the negatives. Now, like I said, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to still have a little bit of a, of a distortion. You have a border right around the edge here. And to get rid of that, just go ahead and move your radius down. Just pull that over to the edge, and there you have it. Uh, you can see sort of that crinkle right in the middle, but if you're moving around a lot, or depending on what you have going on in the background, you're not going to really notice that at all. When it focuses a little bit more on some straight edges, then yeah, you're probably going to notice it more, but that's a nice quick fix for it. Another way to do this is a plugin that I have downloaded. I saw some stuff about this and so I wanted to check it out. Uh, it's from alex4d.com. This is the wide angle fix. And I, I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. It's a free plugin. And so with this, you have a couple different options. Um, right up in here, you have GoPro 170 degrees, 0 0.03, 127 degrees. I said 0 0.03, didn't I? I meant 0 0.3. GoPro 127 degrees, 0 0.2. GoPro 90 degrees, 0 0.05 or custom. And all of these are a little bit different. You see that image changing. You go to custom. And the custom angle, I want to say I had 21 or something like that before. And that's what looked the best for me. Uh, that's for this specific camera. And I mean, look at that. Go ahead and turn this off, turn it back on. That is just incredible. I didn't think it would look that good. And I must say, I am I'm way more than impressed. Look at this. Look, look how round this look at this right here. Let me let me full screen it. Just oh man. If I knew about this before, I would have been utilizing this camera for a lot more than just 
a basic action cam. Like, look at this right here. See this edge? Look at that. Then you turn it on and boom, you're golden. And that's it. It's really that simple. So check it out, alex4d.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And, and that's it. So yeah, like I said before, subscribe. Make sure to like this video if you like it. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, unless, it's, of course, you don't have a touch screen, then just click it with your mouse. That would be more helpful. And as always, keep creating. Cheers.